Hello everybody, my name is Cody Crab, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple audiogram in Descript Storyboard. There's a lot of reasons that Descript is just fantastic for creating audiograms, but their video features actually do quite a bit to make this even better. There's a lot of really great audiogram features within Descript, but we're not even going to be touching those today. We're going to be focusing on using Descript Storyboard's video features in order to create some audiograms. And I'm going to show you some ways that you can create some visually captivating stuff for your social media in order to just grab those people in and get them to click over to your podcast. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be creating a couple of audiograms for one of my clients, Kyle Olson. He is the director and the host of the podcast Love and Justice. It is a really fascinating true crime podcast. By the time this video comes out, it will actually be already live. The first episode will. So I highly recommend you go listen to it. This is actually not in Descript Storyboard, and that is because this project is too big to, to flip over. There are just mountains of files and things. So we're going to actually just not bother with that right now. We're just going to copy stuff over into a Descript Storyboard project. So as you can see, he has marked those individually for me. So this will be really easy to find the content. And it's just a question of creating the stuff now. Okay, so now that we've got everything set up, we've created our compositions for each audiogram. Now we can actually get started. So we've changed this to a video project and we've done a portrait. Uh, I just find that these are really good for audiograms nowadays. That's just kind of the style because people do vertical stuff now. My client has actually created a graphic which makes this even easier for us. So let's go ahead and check that out here. Okay, that looks really good. I think this is going to be a really, really good looking audiogram. So I think first thing we want to do is we want to make this a dynamic moving thing. So I want to create some waveforms so that it's kind of moving as it talks. So with uh, I like kind of doing not just your typical one at the bottom. I like to kind of change it up a little bit. So up here we're going to create a waveform. And as you can see that's there now. Let's go ahead and just make this as wide as the whole project. And for the style let's go ahead and go with wave. Um, and I like this to be mirrored. And then for the magnitude, I kind of want this, you know, I want it to be, you, I want you to be able to see it. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Greetings and welcome to Love and Justice. I'm Kyle Olson. This is a podcast. Yeah, to me, it's a little hard to see still probably because it's white with kind of a not contrasting background. So let's go ahead and do the do a fill. This will make it a little easier to see. We might even want to change the color. So if you want the kind of... About my friend, Ashley Love. Cool. Okay. All right. So now I like to kind of cut it so it looks like the edge of the screen is like the dividing line. I think that's a cool look. So let's make this a little bigger. We'll stretch it a little bit and then do that here. And let's do the same thing on the top, actually. So I hit copy and then paste. So this is going to be a cool look. Check this out. And actually, let's let's do a little bit of a style thing here. Let's actually make the opacity go down on the top one. Greetings and welcome to Love and Justice. I'm Kyle Olson. This is a podcast about my friend, Ashley Love. On October so you might be noticing this is a little spiky. And that's because we I think we want to turn the fidelity down. This is mostly to get an idea. Because really, this is just an effect anyway. This is not to be super accurate. This just is just kind of get an idea of the, the visual. So you can change the height of the wave by this magnitude bar here. You can change the border size, so how thick it ends up being. Which, you know, we don't want to do that, but we can we could. And then, of course, we can also change the fill. So if we want to make it, you know, we can have different colors. We might even want to do this kind of yellow. That's, I'm not going to attempt to match that right now, but we could we could make this the same yellow that's in the audiogram already so that we could kind of match it. So there's, there's some stylistic things you can do to kind of make this look really neat. But for now, let's just not put a fill. Let's just leave that as is. So this is what it looks like now from where we are. Greetings and welcome to Love and Justice. I'm Kyle Olson. If you ask me, that was a little too dynamic, so maybe we want to shrink that. Let's go ahead and go here, and we can change the magnitude to maybe like three, 
four, maybe. Greetings, and welcome to Love and Justice. I'm Kyle Olson. This is a podcast about my friend, Ashley Love. Yeah, I think that looks okay. There's no wrong way to do this. It's just kind of how what you think. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just maybe do five. Let's do five. And fidelity doesn't need to be that high. We can put it kind of maybe 50, something like that. What I'm doing here is I'm dra clicking on the, the bar and I'm just dragging back and forth left to right in order to change that. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, let's go ahead and add one to the top as well to kind of give it a sandwiched kind of look. So let's hit, just highlight, highlight this right here. Command C, Command V, or Control if you're on Windows. And let's go ahead and do this. And again, just stylistically, again, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a cool thing here. Let's change the opacity to maybe 30%. And now it will look like this. Greetings, and welcome to Love and Justice. I'm Kyle Olson. This is a podcast about my friend, Ashley Love. Cool, all right, so now I think we're ready to start adding captions, so let's go ahead and do that. So in order to add captions, all we have to do is click here at the text section and hit captions, and as you can see, we'll already have this here. Now we've got a really light background, so obviously we're not gonna want to use white on this color, although if you like the style of the white, I'll actually recommend a quick little background. You can kind of make that look even better just by maybe something like that. So let's just make this the width of the whole thing. I kind of want to limit it to two lines at a time. So the best way to do that is just resize it vertically. So as soon as it snaps to one line, go a little bit lower than that. Okay, so now that we've got everything set up here, this is when I would typically start thinking about correcting my transcript and kind of getting the layout figured out. So I'm gonna correct this transcript to make it perfect and I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, so now the transcript is perfect. It is exactly what he says in the content. So a quick tip here when you're making an audiogram, if you think there's a better division for the subtitles to pop up so it's like a full complete phrase, you can just create a line break like this, on a, do it on a new line, and it will automatically go, oh, okay, that should be on a different line. So as you can Intruder see- Intruder broke into Ashley's family home, walked upstairs to her bedroom, and killed- the way Kyle talks is very kind of segmented, so this makes a lot of sense for something like this because we can just, you might have a lot of questions swirling through your head right now. See what I mean? How did this happen? How did the killer, how's the killer not been caught yet? So I'm just dividing this now into what makes sense phrase-wise so it, it doesn't have any awkward, just random words hanging out. So one other thing I thought would be cool, as you can see right here, there's an 11 second gap at the end. I kind of thought it'd be cool in this scene to add like a little, you know, subscribe on Spotify. So I've previously created a download on Spotify, download on Apple Podcasts kind of logo. So let me go ahead and add the files right here. Those are our little icons. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go here and as you can see the the uh, the artwork goes all the way to the end here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an overlay. So as you can see, we've got our listen in Apple Podcasts, listen on Spotify icons. So I'm literally just gonna drag it onto the timeline down here and I'm gonna place it where I think it would be good. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see that. Let's go ahead and drag it onto the timeline. Highlight one word just at the end here so that it kind of knows where to place it. Due to the nature of this, I want this to be a smooth transition. So I've gone ahead and added a fade here. I can just click this little ball and move it in and out this way. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and resize this because the timing looks like it's about where it should be. Let's make this small enough that we can fit both of the Spotify and the Apple ones. So all we need to do is go ahead and go to our media, find the Spotify one, and do the same thing. Just drag it right here onto the word justice, holding the shift key. And like I said, we want to just line it up with the Apple one. So let's find that in the timeline. Boom, right there. So now all we need to do is make this about the same size. All right, I think that looks really good. The only thing we have to do is add a fade onto the Spotify one that's kind of similar. We can just find the exact fade. So double click on this little fade thing here. We can see it's 0.74 seconds. 
So let's just do a 0.74 second fade. And then if they start at the same time, All right, so it starts on that frame. So let's go ahead and line them up. Right there. There we go. So just to add a little bit of spice, make it look a little bit nicer, I'm gonna go ahead and add a fade on both ends here of my main image. It'll just add a little bit of classiness here. Greetings and welcome to Love and Justice. And again, in order to match the fade, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the main thing here. Click for more options, 1.1 seconds. So in order to match that fade, I'm just gonna click on the individual images here. And just do 1.1 and One point one. So now the ending will look like this. Perfect. So I think that's ready to send off. And so this was a pretty quick process. Makes it really easy with Descript Storyboard. And I didn't even use the stock footage stuff. I literally just used a graphic from my client. So maybe I'll do another video about how to do one with stock footage as well. But for now, go ahead and like this video and share it if it was helpful for you. And go ahead and leave a comment. What are some other videos that you'd like to see, especially Descript Storyboard features? Because those are ones that I'm starting to explore more and more. And love to do some tutorials and, and things if people are stuck. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time.